Today's meeting follows a previous meeting the UJCC held with the president where they presented a proposal on recapitalizing a microfinance church project at 7 billion. The delegation was led by the most reverend Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugaru. The UJCC is seeking government support to implement other activities which include the girl child project access to justice by refugees and support to the disarmament exercise in Karamoja sub-region. There is that concept note for the prevention, support and supervision of the pregnant girl child, younger teenage mothers, sometimes you want to add even fathers, some of these are boys and they are now called fathers. Disarmament in Karamoja is government initiative where the church wants to complement the efforts by embarking on mindset change. The government has come up with measures to irrigate. Mm -hmm. We want to go in and do massive irrigation projects. That is, yes, that's part of the so We are giving them nine factors. Mm -hmm. I'm told the, either next week or the other week, mm -hmm. each district will be provided with a factor. Yes. The Prime Minister pledged to coordinate the respective government ministries to support the church community development initiatives. I also wanted to suggest through you and God, that we can organize a donor's conference so that they can look at your, your, your proposals. The Archbishop of Uganda, Kazimba Mugaru, appreciated the cordial relationship existing between the church and government. Faithful, <laughs> available teacher and facts sendable, we can be very good vehicles. The Prime Minister requested the church to consider organizing a national prayer on the Ebola pandemic in the country. I think you also need to use um, the parties God gave you the meeting was attended by the government chief whip, Hamson Oboa, and state minister for trade, Haritin Tabazi.